The Dandel Roulette is an evidence-based positioning aid with four parts, a head roll, two wings to keep the arms in midline flexion, a multi-purpose roll for optimizing position, and a pouch providing proprioception. The core of neurodevelopmental care is providing babies with an extrauterine experience that closely mirrors the intrauterine environment. The Dandel Roulette mimics the womb by providing physiologic flexion and containment, keeping the extremities in midline, providing 360 degrees of proprioceptive input, and allowing the baby to move freely with recoil back to the ideal state. This video will review how to use the Dandel Roulette to provide neurodevelopmentally supportive positioning. Place the baby in the Roulette with the head touching the head roll. Bring the arms flexed to midline and pull the short wing over the infant, ensuring the shoulders are rounded forward. Wrap the longer wing over the shorter wing and attach with Velcro to the back of the positioner. Round the baby's lower back into a posterior pelvic tilt by bending the knees at a 90 degree angle and tucking them toward the abdomen. Place the multi-purpose roll beneath the baby's buttocks and thighs as though they were seated in a swing and secure to the back of the positioner. Keeping the baby's legs flexed, pull up the pouch around the baby and attach the Velcro strips to the Velcro on the back. The Roulette provides all five key tenets of neurodevelopmentally supportive positioning. For babies in a sideline position, use the same principles as when placing supine. Place the baby in the Roulette with the head touching the head roll. The head roll should be folded down away from the baby's face. Ensure the baby's back is supported in a C curve while maintaining alignment with the head and neck, keeping the knees and hips flexed. Sideline may not require use of the multipurpose roll, although some may find it beneficial to lay it behind the baby for additional positioning support. Pull the short wing over the infant and roll, ensuring shoulders are rounded forward. Wrap the longer wing over the shorter wing and attach with Velcro to the back of the positioner. Keeping the baby's legs flexed, pull up the pouch around the baby and attach the Velcro strips on the back. When positioning in prone, consider use of a prone roll. For smaller babies, the multi-purpose roll can be used inside or underneath the roulette as a prone roll. Adding a gel pillow beneath the head may help keep the head and neck aligned while ensuring proper prone posture. For larger babies, a gel pillow layered over the multi-purpose roll works well as a prone roll. The edges can be tucked under to optimize the size and ensure a proper fit. A gel pillow can also be used alone to support prone positioning. To position a baby in prone, first fold the head roll down and away from the baby's face. You will see here that a multi-purpose roll is being used for prone support. Place the infant prone inside the positioner with the head touching the head roll. Round the baby's back into a posterior pelvic tilt by bending the knees at a 90 degree angle and tucking them toward the abdomen. Bring the shorter wing around the baby's back to support rounded shoulders and hand toward the midline. Wrap the longer wing over the shorter wing and attach with Velcro to the back of the positioner. Keeping the baby's legs flexed, pull up the pouch around the baby and attach to the wings and the back. If desired, an accessory like the Dandel Pal can be used to provide additional containment around the head. The Roulette is constructed with a very lightweight two ounce cotton, allowing 74% of phototherapy to enter through to baby's skin. The baby's bilirubin level may initially dictate that no covering can be implemented. Always use your best medical judgment when determining how many, if any, layers of the Roulette should be used. As the bilirubin trends downward, additional layers of covering can be considered. At first, you may wish to begin using only one wing for containment. When only one wing is used, the lower extremities can be supported with a non-occlusive boundary such as the dandel pal. Place the pal around the lower extremities, bracing the soles of the feet firmly against the center and tucking up against the legs, hips, and abdomen. Note that the pal's two compartments have been stacked and the leg turned slightly to increase durability and strength. The Cozy Cub is a larger non-occlusive boundary that provides supportive containment around the entire periphery. First, shift the weight of the Cozy Cub so that most of it rests at the baby's feet. Then firmly brace the soles of the feet against the boundary. Tuck the Cozy Cub against the infant, taking care to provide support under the shoulders, against the torso, and around the head. Another alternative involves using the pouch and one wing to provide a single layer of covering. 
Place the arms across the chest with hands near the face and then wrap the longer wing around, securing the arms in a flexed contained position. Bring the pouch up to the lower border of the wing without overlapping the fabric. Excess fabric from the pouch can be rolled at the edge to fit. Finally, the infant can be covered from feet to shoulder with only the pouch, leaving the wings unused and tucked under the positioner. Using the roulette in this manner creates a cocoon-like sensation with 360 degrees of proprioceptive input, which is innately calming, while allowing up to 74% of phototherapy to penetrate to the skin. If desired, the roulette can also be turned upside down to accommodate a phototherapy blanket beneath the baby while using the wings to contain the arms, exposing the baby to the phototherapy light overhead. As always, positioning should be adjusted to meet the individual medical and developmental needs of each baby.